Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. In today's video, you join me outside my local Volvo dealer because I'm actually going to have my windscreen replaced, um, sorry, repaired at the top to prevent the leaking windscreen. Now, this has been done um, by Goodwill on Volvo UK, so a big thank you to them. But I thought I would just sort of document the process so you guys can sort of have the same thing done. So, um, yeah, I'm just about to drop the car off now, and they're going to need it all day. and. Um, I will join you shortly um, once the job is done um, and the, I have the car back. So let's get to it. Okay then guys, so I'm back with another update. So um, Volvo had the car about three hours now and I've received a phone call to say that they've managed to damage the windscreen. Um, so what they've said is that they want me to pay for a new windscreen and they're not gonna pay for it. Um, so I'm now in the process of speaking to Volvo UK direct rather than the dealer um, because the dealer don't seem to be doing too much to try and help the situation. So hopefully we can speak to Volvo UK and they'll get some sort of rectification because obviously I've dropped off a perfectly good car um, to them and they've managed to damage the windscreen. There was no chips or cracks or anything. I went over it completely this morning. So um, yeah, it's more on their end. So what we're going to do, yeah, is we'll, we'll speak to Volvo and um, hopefully I'll come back to you guys with some good news. But listeners have already said they're not going to give me a courtesy car and um, it's sort of up to me to sort it out. So yeah, it's a bit frustrating really. Okay then guys, so um, we're still at home. Um, I thought I'd give you another update. It's now 5.30 p.m. Um, I dropped the car off at eight o'clock this morning. Um, we've got no further. What they've said is that they want me to pay for a new windscreen and they're not going to pay for it. Um, so. I'm now in the process of speaking to, yeah, I mean, this is pretty poor, to be honest. Um, I, I gave the car to them for them to fix it, um, and it's been damaged in the process, and now I've got no car at all. So, um, again, I think it's just going to be a case of trying to negotiate with them. Um, not, the customer service is just not there at all. Um, it's just a case. They want me to pay £649 for a new windscreen, um, which I'm not going to do, um, because... <laughs> why should I and who's got that sort of money lying around so um, yeah I'll keep you guys updated it's been a day now um, they're saying that they're going to wait for Volvo to they're going to go backwards and forwards to Volvo I mean Volvo's categorically stated to me that they're not going to replace it but they are going to contact Listers um, to find out why Listers Volvo and Worcester are refusing to um, pay um, for causing the damage so yeah it's just a really really frustrating um, situation obviously I need the car I need the car for the channel and having to deal with this is just not something we need during lockdown so um, yeah hopefully we can resolve the issue um, they've said that they would offer me a loan car but they're they're gonna make me pay um, to have that loan car so it's yeah it's not something really I want to do so um, yeah we'll see what happens okay then guys so um, I've got another update um, Listers have now stated that there was invisible damage um, to the windscreen that could not possibly have been seen. Um, so what they've said is that they want me to pay for a new windscreen and they're not going to pay for it. Um, so I'm now in the process of speaking to the video I wanted to make. I wanted this, to, my, my whole point of doing this process was actually to make show people how good the Volvo customer service was. And unfortunately, um, it just hasn't worked out that way. So... Um, it's the car's going to be at Volvo overnight, um, and however long it takes to get this resolved. I mean, it's the whole thing's an absolute joke. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's really really disappointing um, from an owner's point of view, um, from a brand that I've always supported and wanted to do well. Um, all my videos have been positive about Volvo so far, and. Yeah, it's something that I didn't ever want to sort of become a thing. Um, but yeah, it's it's the reality of dealing with dealerships. This is why I say don't deal with car dealerships. Um, do the maintenance yourself. This this is the exact reason. So um, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully, um, I'm going to re release this video straight away. Um, cause I think it needs to get out there before other people are sort of sucked in to the same thing and yeah we'll um give you an update as soon as i can thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss part two cheers